Good morning and hello. I'm your host, The Highway Ghost. Today I'm heading out to Barber Marina in coastal Alabama, about 30 minutes outside of the town of Gulf Shores, in search of the Mark Klein dinosaurs, known as the Dinosaurs in the Woods. It's a very neat attraction in the middle of the Alabama nowhere. So let's go check it out. Okay, this is the Mark Klein T-Rex. He created, um, originally I think he created about seven of these, and I don't know where the other three are, but there's four out here in the woods of Alabama. This is quite cool. These things have become quite an attraction, and they have placed them alongside Barber Parkway, and Barber Marina is named after the wealthy investor that actually purchased these from the artist. And if you're not familiar with Mark Klein's work, if you ever visit the Natural Bridge of Virginia, then Foam Hinge is another attraction that he created alongside of the highway as you're driving down to the Natural Bridge of Virginia. And he created these and sold them to the investor that wanted to place them alongside the parkway, Barber Parkway, out to his marina here in the back country of Alabama. I don't know what happened to the other three, but there's four dinosaurs that I know of that's located out here in the woods. There's the T-Rex and the Triceratops and Stegosaurus and uh, Brontosaurus, which is the real big one. But anyway, this, this one was used in a car commercial from what I've heard, but I don't know what commercial that was. Just know it's become quite a famous landmark. It's wild. There's like these little trails out here that can be quite deceiving but I don't think they really go anywhere I think these are just pretty much dead ends but anyway that's the T-Rex that's probably the most popular of all dinosaurs and the first one that you're going to see on the way in past Bama Hinge which is a, another one of his creations that replicates Stonehenge and you know obviously named after the state of Alabama but Mark Klein was an amazing artist I've seen his work up at the Natural Bridge I did a little tour up there around 2007 of Foam Hinge which is pretty cool and if it hadn't been for I think a family member of George barber that was traveling and seen some of mark's work and kind of you know just wanted them and he was quoted a pretty outrageous price which the artist you know kind of just did that i'm assuming to get him off his back but however he came back with the offer and man he sold them to the wealthy investor that wanted to kind of set up these roadside attractions out in the middle of the alabama nowhere so anyway this is the t-rex one of the many attractions in Alabama, but one of the coolest that I've found in southern Alabama. Thank you for watching. There's a lot more to see. Okay, just a short distance down this sandy roadway here from the T-Rex, you're going to find the Triceratops. Probably the most recognizable one from the road since it's not tucked back into the forest, but this is another one of the cool creations and these look like the eyeballs are actually made of glass so nothing's cooler than a fiberglass dinosaur sitting out in the middle of Alabama nowhere okay a short distance from where you're gonna see the Triceratops and Stegosaurus which was actually being visited by other folks at the moment you're going to find the 
Brontosaurus. That's the biggest dinosaur that they have out here next to the T-Rex. But there's a little small path that takes you out here to see this big monster. Check that sucker out. What's up? If you notice the eyeball up there is made of glass. This thing's pretty good size. Kind of size comparison compared to my little tiny hand. But um yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Whether you're a fan of roadside attractions or oddities such as myself or somebody just looking for something to do while touring coastal Alabama, the Markline dinosaurs are kind of a neat thing to see because it's quite unusual something you don't see every day it's kind of cool these were probably made out of spray fiberglass Well, this is pretty awesome. Let's go see that other dinosaur. Okay, this is the Stegosaurus. And the Stegosaurus is located right down from the T-Rex and Triceratops and is easily seen from the side of the road. But this one's pretty cool. Can like see the sculpting that Mark Klein put into making these but thanks to George Barber and the artist Mark Klein and whoever the guy was that found these for George we have some pretty neat stuff to see while visiting southern Alabama coastal Alabama well I hope you've enjoyed watching the dinosaurs in the woods it's a pretty cool roadside attraction. A lot of people bring their kids out here and families and take a walk and explore and find them all. So if you're in this area, it's quite a fun day trip. It's not far from Gulf Shores or Orange Beach, so it's worth the drive. You guys take care and on to the next. And always remember, strange travels with the highway ghost. Later.